Hey there YouTube, so today, um, today's video is going to be on Notability on the iPad Pro 10.5 inch I have and I'm just going to walk you through like how I use this at school, um, at college and um, yeah so here on the left hand side I have um, different folders so uh, I have my oops I have my freshman year um, then sophomore, juniors and seniors are just empty right now but here we have all my um, subjects and categories. Um, I have different colors, so my Western Humanities class. Here I have different um, files. Um, so we, when I had uh, my previous notes in my notebook, I just um, clicked up here on the on the uh, top right, um, the plus sign, and that's where I can get photo, take a photo, and I can just insert that photo into the document. Um, uh, so for example, I have. Um, recently added photos I can include this physics profile just a picture I have in here and I can resize it and then click on the top three bars to move it around and then if I click outside that picture I can take my pen up here and select this thickness I want and then choose a color and then just annotate on top of this and continue with my notes so let me just delete that There we go. Um, so then here are my handwritten notes on Othello and Shakespeare. Um, I At the tools on the top I have um, text so I can type on here and it appears and I can change colors too. Um, I have a pen. So the pen up here, uh, once you click it once it just activates that tool but when you double click it opens up this little menu. So up here on the tap, top left um, you have different pen options. So the left pen is just a um, just a stable like pen thickness so for, let me just pull up a blank page um, I'm going to click on the top right there's a notebook with a pencil that's going to add me um, a new note so and I already have um, by standard I have lines automatically when I click a new note so if I click on this left pen here um, and I color black that ink is just a stable thickness of my pen and then on the, the right one, that is sort of a calligraphic pen, so it's it depends on the pressure of when you're pushing on the iPad. So I can write hello, and I can change the thickness by how I push on the iPad. And here we have a variety of colors. Um, we have red, all sorts of colors. You can just write on the iPad. Next tool is a highlighter. So same um, idea here with the thickness, the harder you push, the thicker the pen will get. Um, so I used to like to keep it on the left one, so it's easier. Um, so here I usually keep, I think, this thickness for a highlighter? About that size, yeah. So if I do have notes that I've written in pen, um, let's choose a thicker thinner pen. Right like that. Then I can take my highlighter and let's do a green and just highlight over that. So then it is clear. I'm trying to grab attention to my audience. It's a little messy. So I can zoom in on the iPad and I can write and maybe in a thinner ink and a in a brown I can say I can say no. You know, I wanna correct it. A little thinner pen. Something like that. Um, the next tool is the eraser. So if you click on just one object, it'll erase the whole thing of that object. And if you just go across like that, you can create little pieces. So it's not like a regular eraser when you have a circle and then you just move that circle around like that and just erase it. It doesn't work like that. It's just you touch it and it just erases. The next tool are the scissors. Um, so if we have text all around, let's make this thicker. Um, you have a rectangle, so if you make a rectangle, you can just essentially move that object and um, resize it too, or use your fingers to resize it or rotate it however you want. Um, but I used to like I like to use the lasso. I think it's easier. Um, so if you circle something, 
you can grab with your fingers, resize it, um, make it, you know, rotate an object. Like, let's say you're talking, um, you have um, some line like that, and it goes down. It's kind of a ramp, I guess. This is a bad ramp. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> so, and then you have, you know, you have, um, instead of doing a number like 25 meters, and you don't want you want to move that, so you just you can't use your fingers because your finger is the scroll and your pen is the, your tool. So when I move this, I want to rotate it so it's in line with the line, so I can just lasso it like that, and I can just rotate it with two fingers, and there it's like that. Um, also, if you take the lasso, you may have to make sure you're touching every part of what you want to move. So if I have this just hanging here, and I just want to move this line. I just lasso this piece and make sure I don't touch the other piece and I can move that. But if I touch all of this, then I'll leave this moves. So I'm missing the meters on the bottom that I want to move, essentially. And I can move it like that. And then we have a finger up here. I can just use the pencil to move and not write, but I can scroll. And here on the, on the top of the toolbar, we have a screen recorder when we can record the screen. And as we're recording that, we can see exactly what, um, like, at what time am I writing? So in the previous section of my calculus class, um, or physics actually, let's see, um, I have a this note right here. Um, forces part two examples. We see like there's like a bar graph right there that tells me that there's recording in this, which is very short. Let's go back. There's another line. No, there's another one here. Part one examples. Yeah, this has 32 minutes of recording time, so we can play this. <laughs> and then, as the professor is speaking, I'm actually writing on the iPad sine of 30 degrees is divided by sine of 20 degrees, and so on. So, if we go into a new note, um, let's just make a new note right here. Um, we can add pictures, and we can also add gifs. So, if I want to say um, math or something, some weird gif. I can then insert that. Oops, yeah. And I can move that object. I can also resize it. And the picture actually moves. So then in my class, or as my, I'm writing my notes, I can simply annotate over this and say, okay, cool. Oops, I can't write on the top there. Cool. I can change to calligraphic ink and then say we can talk about um, series or integrals. And so on, and I can also lose that lasso if I want to resize or move something around to a different spot. And then we also have figures, so we draw. We can do a line, circle, and then that figure will be done, and then that's just inserted as a transparent image into our file, sort of. So then we can also just, oops, we can just write over that too. And annotate. We also have stickies. If you want to put a grid, if you want to, you know, draw a graph or something, I'm gonna move this down. We can also um, draw that and draw a line and just plot points. Also, to know when, you, if you want to draw a straight line of notability. Um, this is not going to help, this is just drawing, but if you push and hold down and le stay holding down, your writing will turn into like a straight line. Like that, and I can push here, and it'll connect that to the previous point, or it'll try to, almost. There we go. And then here on the top right, we have um, a wrench or a tool. Um, we can change the paper, um, whatever color suits you. Um, we have bigger lines, smaller lines, really big lines, huge lines, graphing paper. So if it's easier for you to write, and let's say it's put white paper, or a little lighter than that, oh, that's white. Um, 
we can then, you know, I don't usually use this, but we can draw our notes, zoom in, um, oops. I can also copy that and then paste it here and change that to stage two in pink ink. And then if you want to also, so these are how my notes are written. Um, intro to differential equations, I have my calculus professor has her pre-made PDF document that is imported into Notability as a note, and I can just write over that and change or manipulate whatever I would like. Um, here are my quiz corrections. Um, here, and I just wrote everything on here. It's a little bit sloppy, but you can also change it to whatever suits you. And then if I want to send it to her, I can just click on this um, and I can click other apps or email and I can include the recordings or the paper if I don't want to include paper and a format to PDF or a note or an RTF file. I usually do PDF so they can see it and it's, it can't be edited. Um, and if you click edit oh, or settings on the bottom left of the app, um, you can change how you want things to be default. So if you want white paper, green paper automatically with certain lines on it, it'll be standard that way and auto backup so auto backup I have auto backup to OneDrive so all my files are automatically backed up on there um, typing certain fonts you want spelling handwriting um, text-to-speech I have a sleep timer if you want to keep the iPad awake when you're in audibility themes light or dark and then extras which you have to pay for um, iCloud yes pretty much all my notes are on here um, Films and other cultures. I have I t imported post-it pictures included here, wrote on here. Um, this was on. Um, I can just write on here. This was on an essay. Oops, essay. And I can also make the te the pen smaller and make the pen let's do like a orange. And I can also say. Also resize that too and let's make this smaller whoops there we go so let me zoom in like that so yeah I mean here are more notes let's go to calculus um, so here I talk I highlight things different colors it makes things a lot neater on the iPad and more portable. I like I like it because in my school um, we have um, Apple TVs in the room. So whenever we have notes or group, whenever we're doing group work, we can just easily um, AirPlay our our iPad up on the screen, and the whole class can talk about what we're talking about. So it makes things really more um, collaborative in the room. Um, if you guys have any other questions or want more information, please like and comment the video below. Click the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.